Two years ago, the Boy Scouts made a historic change. It started allowing girls to join the so-called Scouts BSA program. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, we are highlighting the accomplishments of South Brevard County's first female Eagle Scout, the highest ranking you can earn in the organization. News 6's Carolina Cardona has her story. It shows me that I can do anything. Like if I can become an Eagle Scout, what can I not do? At 16, Rebecca DeVoid made history for being part of the first group of girls in the country to earn their Eagle Scouts badge, a program that had been intended for boys only up until two years ago when the Boy Scouts of America organization announced they would welcome girls 11 to 17 years old. I kind of wanted to change, uh, meet more people and do more activities. So that's why I joined Boy Scouts. A dream for the Count Vieira High School student who joined right after the news broke. When the BSA opened it up to, to girls, it was a no-brainer for me to become Scout Master, start a troop. Rebecca's father, Wayne, is also an Eagle Scout and her Scout Master. He says earning the Eagle Scout badge is no easy task. There is no difference between what the boys uh, re are required to do and what the girls are required to do. So it's very difficult. It's, it's, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of planning, a lot of learning, a lot of failing, and uh, uh, but that's what the program is about. It really helped me to become a better leader, learn more about myself and about the world. It will help me with my personal skills. I had to communicate with other people to get projects done. To earn her Eagle badge, Rebecca had to come up with a community project. I designed and created a rainwater collection system at Erna Nixon Park. She built a 780 gallon rainwater collection system at Erna Nixon Park, a nature preserve in West Melbourne. The four rain barrels installed in the center pavilion help with flooding issues in the park. She also made displays so the community knows how the system works and how polluted rainwater runoff negatively affects the Indian River Lagoon. The teen says her accomplishment is a testament to how far she can go. Women's equality with like the voice that's allowing uh, girls to join, like close the gap a little bit of like what we can and can't do. Even if she's like a small, Thing. I think that full equality is on the way. Carolina Cardona, News 6. Good for her. In Central Florida, there are seven girls who have earned their Eagle badge. Rebecca's dad says she is the first in South Brevard County to earn that merit. Rebecca says her dream is to have a job where she can have a positive impact in her community and the world. I think she's off to a really strong start. I would say so. <laughs> it takes forever to get one of those things. Yeah, yeah. So, but I mean, what an accomplishment. And they just started letting girls into that group, into that program just yeah. a couple of years ago. So I can't even get my to girls her. to take out the trash. So <laughs> you got some work to do. She is very impressive. <laughs>